it is swelteringly hot here in the UK. It's not just hot, it's humid. And I, I, I'm in my PJs. It's, it's one of those days, guys. If you don't love me in my PJs, then you just don't love me at all. Hello and welcome to FTTR, I am Hugh McQuaid and today it is apt that it is very, very hot because we are talking about Burning Hearts Pro Wrestling, the debut show, the debut tour sort of of Burning Hearts Pro Wrestling, the three day, well three, three event series that they did over the weekend. They did one in Liverpool, one in Wolverhampton and one in Swansea and I'm going to tell you about my experience going to the debut show at the Liverpool Olympia. This is not going to be a review, this is just going to be me telling you things that I liked about the show and why I think you should check out Burning Hearts Pro Wrestling if you get a chance because it was a bloody hoot. But before we dive into that, please hit subscribe, please like this video, please go in your thoughts down below, and if you were there, let me know down in the comments. I'll try to apply to every single one of them as we dive into this. So, Burning Hearts Pro Wrestling was a promotion that was mainly announced by the Grizzled Young Vets, a sort of a pro promotion in the UK that is going to be run by a committee of professional wrestlers. It's wrestling run by wrestlers for the fans, and that was sort of the mission statement, if you will, of Burning Hearts Pro Wrestling. They announced their debut shows, which I mentioned to, towards the start of the video, and the talent that was going to be on it. Lizzie Evo, Danny Luna, Joe Hendry, Leon Slater, Mark Haskins, Trent Seven, Grizzled Young Veterans, Sanity. My God, that's just naming a few. There's a lot more to talk about. And from there, from the outset, I think, this was a very interesting prospect. Obviously, the Grizzled Young Veterans had left WWE. They are one of my favourite tag teams ever. I love NXT UK, and their run in NXT UK I thought was great. And this sort of just... I had to check it out. I had to check out the promotion. It was in Liverpool, hours drive from where I live. And I had to go down and see sort of what was going on and what Burning Hearts Pro Wrestling was going to be. And overall, I think just the atmosphere, the venue, the matches, all came together to create a celebration of wrestling. Because this had a bit of everything. This had a bit of everything you would want out of professional wrestling, whether it's story, whether it's high spots whether it's tag wrestling, it was top to bottom, structured in a way that just made me feel happy as a professional wrestling fan. It gave me everything that I wanted, and yeah, I don't think you can ask for more from that from a promotion. So I'll dive into a few of my highlights and a few of the bits that I really enjoyed from these first this first show. First of all, I, the, the Liverpool Olympia, right? My girlfriend is a massive, massive paranormal fan, ghost fan. And being in the Liverpool Olympia, we walked in and she was like, this place is really giving me vibes. It's giving me like most haunted vibes. And I was like, yeah, I can see that. But this is like a, this is a wrestling venue. The Liverpool Olympia is sort of iconic in professional wrestling and performance in general. And... She was just enamoured by the entire venue. I was enamoured by the entire venue. I think it had such a cool, classic look to it that when you got down to where the ring was and you saw sort of the seats raised up, I was like, oh, this is a great venue for pro wrestling. I really, really loved this. And the intro started, of course, with Tom Campbell. Tom Campbell from Cultholic, who was brilliant, brilliant as an announcer, and it was a real pleasure to see him. Saw him on the TNA tour. Saw him here. Really happy for Tom Campbell. He's a great... He's just a great person, isn't he? And then we got probably my favourite match of the night. Opening the show. Which was Leon Slater versus Connor Mills. This was just... A banger. This was a proper, proper banger that told a really, really good story 
revolving around Leon Slater's leg and Connor Mills going after the leg of Leon Slater. I think that Connor Mills is exceptional. I think he's going to be massive in like years to come. I can see him easily being a Progress World Champion or a Rev Pro Champion. He's got such upside to him, the way he carries himself, the way he works in the ring. Really, really good. And then obviously, Leon Slater's just fantastic. He's just fantastic. He's one of the best wrestlers in the world, and we love Leon Slater. And they put on an absolute banger. It was a really hot way to open the show. And that was probably my favourite match of the night, but picking my favourite match of the night from these bouts is really difficult because everything was so different. I really, really love Sanity versus Crystal Young Vets. I really loved um, Sam Gradwell versus Ricky Shane Page. <laughs> Brilliant no-DQ brawl. And I really, really loved... The main event, I think the main event to me was, it was what British wrestling is and what sort of British wrestling can be. Trent Seven versus Mark Haskins, you know, two veterans of the British wrestling scene going after one another in a really physical, really... I wouldn't say emotional, but it was, it was quite emotional, you know. They were hitting some beats in there that I, for one, really appreciated, like the throwbacks to British Strong Style and Trent hitting the Tyler Driver, going for the bitter end. And then Mark Haskins and Vic Haskins just being these dastardly heels. I think it's all a really fun, captivating story, and it wasn't, it wasn't the most, you know, spot-heavy match. This was like psychology based this was Haskins working over Trent and really taking out the arm to take away sort of the seven star lariat and I really really love that I really appreciated it because it's not the sort of wrestling that you see on like a big main event stage that much anymore it was compared to the rest of the show I think it was a really nice not palate cleanser because you don't have a palate cleanser at the end of something but a really nice change of pace and a match that I really, really appreciated. And it capped off what was a really fun evening of professional wrestling. Like, I love going to independent shows. I think they're so, so fun. Progress, Rev Pro, Wrestle Carnival. I've been to a lot. And this was such a fun time. A really, really fun time. I don't have any criticisms about this. Because even if I did have a criticism, you know... To criticize something on the opening, the first show, it's no. What's the point in doing that? I don't. I don't have anything to say that is probably not going to be addressed moving forward. Because I'm hoping that Burning Hearts does really well. I'm hoping the Swansea show and the Wolverhampton show did really well, and I'm hoping we get more of this going forward because there is room. We can get the British scene back to where it was pre. NXT UK like we can get there because they are all cooking right now you've got the Rev Pro anniversary show before Wembley that's going to be huge you've got Luke Jacobs on an absolute tear in progress after winning Super Strong Style 16 you've got all these different promotions working and this scene's going to be massive I, I have such high hopes and I'm very excited to see where the British wrestling scene goes from here. But in terms of Burning Hearts Pro Wrestling, I can't wait to see more. And I hope you go and check them out. I really do. Give them a follow. Give them a like. And yeah, you'll be in for a, a riot of a time. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Did you go? Did you not? Were you thinking about checking this out? Let me know and I'll try and apply to every single one of you. Thank you all ever so much for your support. And have a nice day.